With macOS 15 Sequoia and iOS 18, you can now mirror your iPhone screen directly onto your Mac or MacBook, allowing you to interact with notifications, open apps, do all sorts of things without ever having to pull your phone out of your bag. So let's get into it. In order to get started with iPhone mirroring, you're gonna need four things. One, you're gonna need a Mac that has an M chip or a T2 security chip that's running macOS 15 Sequoia. Two, you're gonna need an iPhone XR or newer that's running iOS 18. Three, you need to make sure they are both logged into the exact same iCloud account. And four, you need to make sure that your phone is somewhat close by you and your MacBook in order to connect and start the process. So let's see how this works. To get started, I'm gonna click on the Applications folder on my Mac. I'll click on the app iPhone Mirroring, and it'll ask for permission to give quick access to iPhone, get access to apps and notifications. You'll then have to unlock your iPhone and click Allow Notifications. We'll get more into this further on in the video. Once you click Get Started and unlock your iPhone, you are good to go. So once this connects, you can see that you can navigate around your iPhone just as you would if you were holding it and had it unlocked in your hands. You can swipe between screens. You can even open apps. Here I am in Apple Notes looking at the notes for this video. If you need to go back to the home screen, you can always click that little bar at the bottom. Now I'm gonna go into Reminders and just add a reminder. You can see that you can use the keyboard just like you would, and the keyboard doesn't even show up on screen, which is really nice. I'll go ahead and add that here and go back to the home screen. Let's say you need to go back to the home screen or use your app switcher in different areas. You can see this icon up here at the top. When you click that, it'll take you back to the home screen. And when you click this icon here on the right, it'll bring up your app switcher. You can also do this using keyboard shortcuts here. You can see in the view menu, we've got command one is home screen, command two is app switcher, and command three is spotlight. It's a great way to navigate around your phone if you're a keyboard shortcut junkie. Once you've connected your iPhone to your Mac using iPhone mirroring for the first time, your notifications will start to appear on your MacBook with a specific little icon. Let me show you. So I'm here on my Mac, and if I go ahead and click here to look up my control center and kind of notifications, you'll see up in the top right hand corner, you can see this little phone notification here. So I can go ahead and click and open these, and I can actually open them, and it should trigger iPhone mirroring, which is then gonna require me to unlock my device, and it should open up that exact app to that exact notification. So there you go, you can see it has pulled it open to exactly what was there without even having to touch my iPhone. If you're like me and you wanna minimize the number of notifications that you're gonna get on your phone and desktop, you might wanna adjust this using your macOS settings. So what we will do is go to Apple, we'll click System Settings here, and we will scroll down to Notifications. Here you've got the ability to adjust notifications across your phone and whether you want to allow them, whether you want to allow sounds, and you can just go down the list of apps and decide which ones you want to receive notifications for and which ones you don't. So you might be asking yourself, what would I even use iPhone mirroring for? Obviously you can use it for anything, but I've particularly found three use cases that I use it for most often. Number one would be for my smart thermostat. I will often open this up on my computer and adjust the thermostat if I need to. So that is a great use case right there. If I jump back to my home screen, the second one that I often do is for security camera. So if I go ahead and open this up, I can see my security camera footage right away. I don't even have to grab my phone or my iPad or anything like that. The other area where this is particularly useful is where you might have a iPhone app that is not available on iPad or desktop where you need to do a lot of typing. So one particular instance here is Todoist. I use this as my task management for my work projects every day. I tend to not have the desktop app on all of my computers and things like that. So sometimes it's just quick and easy to open up iPhone mirroring, jot down a quick idea, and then jump back out to the computer. So that's everything that you need to know about iPhone mirroring on macOS Sequoia and iOS 18. If you found a really interesting use case for this, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to learn more about it. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.